Hey guys, just at the end of the knocking cycle for this uh, Sports Blue Players Force. Now you saw this come in, this is actually a gift for me from Sports Blue. I've actually removed the bottom two blue stickers. So I had this blue sticker and then I had another one here. I've taken that off because when I fixed up that toe and put some sugar on it, I had a little bit of a dent. I think it was here. So yeah, I nicked the sticker and so I had to take it off. So this is, uh, it's got a few little lines here from just general things that happen when you're knocking in a bat. Giving it a polish, it's all fully oiled now. Cranes have come out really nice. I see them on the front there. It's had uh, two or three oils. I've left it natural and I've left the sticker on it. It's nice thick shugu toe, you can see the grains running through there. Uh, I did sand that to get a slightly different angle on it and I know this is not a laminate because the uh, grains follow from here directly down here. I know that some of you think that every bat that comes out of Pakistan might be a, a laminate or a CX or something like that but they're not. So we'll give this one a tap up and you can hear what it sounds like now that it's knocked. But yeah, I think uh, one thing I found with this bat was a really heavy duty press initially. And then after about an hour, it just all seemed to collapse uniformly. And it's a really sweet metal. So, yeah, really nice. Nice big willow. Good position on my batting. So that's good. You can see more distinctly there that um, double grain I mentioned in the first video. Just that little bit of extra growth there. Actually quite uh, impressed. I think the handle for me was a little bit too narrow for my liking. The stickers I'm informed will be changed for next season so that's a bit of an improvement there and obviously <laughs> the grip broke when I was taking it off in the first video so that's now been replaced. Uh, the other thing I also wanted to show is that this is a full length bat. Some Pakistani bats like CA are actually not full length so what I'll do is I'll stand this up next to the Salix. So that's it standing next to the Salix bat and they're pretty much the same height. So this is actually the post knock-in weight after oiling and also after adding the strapping tape which is this stuff up the top there. So it was 2.77 before and it's 2.84 for now. So we've had a little bit of extra weight up here when we've created this, but not as much as adding a whole new grip. It 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of an ounce, including oiling and adding this amount of strapping here. Half a grip would be 0.8 as well, but we've also added about 0.2 of an ounce with that shugu toe. So probably net 0.6 and we've made the handle a lot thicker. All right, turn around, we'll bounce the ball on. So we'll start with a four piece. Nice and soft. It's pinging everywhere, especially up that middle. More right there, you can just see how it just ping off nicely. Right through that mid to mid low region and that's only going to improve there's no seam marks at all this is the Dukes Jeez. I'm having a lot of luck today not towards the edges up near the stickers not really a lot happening up there at the moment. So yeah, not bad. 
no seam marks at all. So thank you very much to Sports Blue for the Players Force. Uh, that bat is now mine. A uh, lovely full shape. Great willow. Skinny round handle at the top. But it was 2.77. Now it's 285. Lovely bat. So thank you very much to Sports Blue for that. Cheers.